Out with the warden on a beach north of Montrose, it doesn't take long for us to find a dead puffin. This is one of dozens washed up here in the last few days. A passerby raised the alarm. Within a few minutes, I knew there'd been been a wreck. There were just, you know, there were there were lots of, of, of birds, some of them still alive, um, dying on, on the beach. So about 40 to 50 birds collected over the last couple of days from this stretch of beach. So far, the number of puffins washed up on the east coast runs into hundreds, but scientists fear in the coming weeks those numbers could rise to several thousand. They call that a puffin wreck, and it could be the worst in 60 years. One of the UK's leading seabird experts is now hoping to find out more about what's killed these puffins. It looks like bad weather has exhausted these normally hardy birds. Puffins are a northern species, they can cope with any amount of cold or snow. But what they have problems with, if you get really severe gales, onshore gales, let's say for a week or ten days, when they can't feed, then they start to lose condition and they get washed up and they die. Puffins are already suffering population decline. The fear now is for this year's breeding season. Andrew Anderson reporting Scotland, St Cyrus.